Hi, and welcome to Artist Academia. Today we're going to learn how to draw Claude from the movie Elemental. So grab a piece of paper, a pencil, a pen, something to color with, and we'll begin. So I'm going to start by drawing a big oval. And then I'm going to draw a skinny oval right below that. And then half of an oval like this. And then two sets of lines like that. Circle here, a circle here. Then I'm going to draw a slightly curved line like that and another one parallel to it. And then a circle right here. And then I'm gonna draw a curved line like this and one again kind of parallel to it and then draw an oval over here. So this is sort of the basic shapes of his body. So um, next I'm gonna just kind of block out the basic shapes of his head. So start by drawing an oval here for his nose and two circles for his eyes. And then I'm going to draw a curve, a slight curve like this, and a slight curve on the bottom, and then bring this up and then curve it like that. And then I'm going to draw two curved lines here and here. This is going to be his teeth. And then a curve line for his tongue. And then I'm going to draw a slight curve to the top of his head. Comes in a little bit and erase this right here. And then draw a little line here, here and just draw a curve here for now. This is just a placeholder. This is roughly where his, his uh, hair is gonna be. So from here, I'm gonna start adding, gradually adding more detail to the drawing. So to start, I'm going to refine his, his head a little bit more. It's not a perfect oval, it's gonna come down this is how it dips in. And then for his nose, it's not a perfect oval. It has a slight curve over here. Kind of comes up a little bit and down. So it looks something like this. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of definition to it. So I'm gonna kind of do a parallel line. It's gonna curve up and down following this line. And then a curved line right here. And then for his mouth, darken this up. So, comes up something like this kind of shape. And then you have his two front teeth here and here. And then just a curve for his tongue like that. And then his eyes, um, this one is pretty much a perfect circle. So I'm going to draw that in. And then I'm going to draw 
circle for his iris and it's not going to be perfectly in the center it's a little bit more toward the right and then I'm going to draw in his pupil and a little circle for the shine mark and then for this eye it's squinted up a little bit and it's kind of following slightly where this mouth is kind of going so it has a slight curve like that and then comes up and like curves around. So the top part is pretty much like a circle, but the bottom part has this little dip down here. And then similarly, I'm gonna draw iris a circle. It's gonna be toward the middle. So this is the iris, and then another circle for the pupil, and then another circle for the shine mark. Now for his hair, it's really like blades of grass. So to draw those, um, I'm gonna start drawing curves and they kind of curve to a point to come up together. And his hair sort of flows kind of this direction. So just keep drawing blades of grass Let me redraw that. So, as you can see, they are curving like inward and then I mean he has a lot more hair than that so I'm gonna add in more in the background so gonna add some more I think I need to make this tooth a little bit smaller. I'll fix that. Next, I'm going to work on his torso. So he has, this is basically the shape right here that we drew. So I'm just darken that. And then he has draw two skinny lines coming up like this and then a circle and then a little bit at the end. So these are like drawstrings. And then there's a curved line here because it's a tank top. So you see his arm kind of coming out on this side. And then it comes down like this. So this arm is coming out and it's placed on his, on his side. So this is, it's gonna come out so much how we drew it before. This is his arm. And then to draw his hand, I'm gonna come out in a nice curve like this and draw a loop. This is gonna be his thumb. And then draw a line here in here and it comes at a curve like this and loops like that curve comes like that and you see part of a curve there and you see a little bit of his um, the back of his top here in the background so I'll show that as well behind this arm. So this part will be his arm and this will be a dark green, um, like just sort of part of his shirt. And then he has one arm raised up with a flower in it. 
So the arm comes up, basically how we drew it, like that. And then for the hand, we're gonna have a curve that comes up and over like this. Loop, draw a little loop right there. This is gonna be his pinkies. It's gonna curve and then come out, curve this way. Draw a little pinky like that. And then we're gonna draw two ovals like this. And then one oval like that. And then bring this finger back like that. And then in his hand, he has this flower. So we're gonna draw the stem. It can just be a thick line. And then for the flower, um, it has a petal that comes like this. So it's pretty much a teardrop shape. Another petal petal. I'll just keep drawing these teardrop shapes for the flower like so. And then the rest of his torso comes down like a curve like this comes straight across and then curves up like that. And then for his legs, he has one comes down like this and another one like that. And then for his shoes, so I'm gonna start by drawing a curved line across each of these like that, coming down a little bit on each side, that's gonna be his socks. And then draw curved, it's kind of weird shape. So there's a curved, it kind of comes down like this and up like that. So for the bottom part of the shoe, it comes down at this curve kind of almost flat and then comes back up like that. And there's gonna be these two shapes like this. Those are going to be um, kind of parts of his shoe that <laughs> it's hard to explain. <laughs> and then the very bottom of his shoe comes down again, it's gonna be flat on the bottom and then curve up like that. And then for the shoelaces, we're gonna do we're gonna crisscross, do a crisscross lines like that, do one across, and then draw two loops for the, just tie, you know, where you tie the bunny ears. Then for this one, I'm gonna draw a curve here, and a big curved piece here. This is similar to that, except you're seeing it more from this side. Then it come down like that, curve up, and then nice round curve right there. And then this shape here. And then for the bottom, it's pretty much a big curve like that. Then we're gonna do, again, another crisscross lines and line straight across. And then we're gonna do the two loops for the bunny ears on his shoelaces. Now he has um, like a camouflage pattern on his, on his top. So to show that, I'm gonna just draw in some kind of like curvy shapes. Almost look like, you know, you're drawing clouds or something. Very organic, loose, just shapes like this. 
And then when you color them, you can color each shape, like a different um, shade of one of the shades on his shirt, and that will make it look like camouflage. One last thing, I'm gonna add a few little circles and curves here on each side because he's made of dirt. So I want to give that a little bit of hint of texture. Um, I mean, or, you know, that he's made of earth. So I'll add a little bit here as well. And now that we're done drawing everything in pencil, it's time to outline it with pen. And now it's time to color. Thank you so much for joining us. Great job. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video.